The antibiotics used to treat Lyme disease, well, they do help most people, but there is a small percentage of Lyme disease patients with symptoms that just will not go away. All right, Sharon Crowley shows us how doctors are trying to solve the mystery of those chronic symptoms. Is this rewarding work for you? It is very rewarding work. There is definitely hope. Dr. Kim Lewis leads a Lyme disease research team at Northeastern University's Antimicrobial Discovery Center in Boston. Each year, about 300,000 people in the U.S. will get the tick-borne illness. The majority, about 90% of those who get Lyme disease, will take a short round of antibiotics and within a few weeks feel better. But doctors say 10% will develop long-term health problems known as post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome, or PTL. LDS. We do not know what is the difference between those people who, who will or will not develop it. The symptoms of PTLDS, also known as chronic Lyme disease, can be debilitating. They develop uh, Lyme arthritis, uh, so that means their joints get swollen, painful, they cannot walk very well. Uh, they can develop neurological disorders where they have what they describe as a, you know, a foggy Oh my, so the fogginess comes uh, into the brain, uh, the memory loss, uh, fatigue. Uh, it is a, a complex of very uh, unpleasant uh, symptoms. And how long do these symptoms last? Uh, these symptoms can last for many years. PTLDS brought Dr. Lewis and other researchers from all fields of science, medicine, and the environment together at a conference here in New York City at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. These experts are sharing what they're learning about fighting Lyme disease and its long-term side effects. Dr. Lewis and his team of researchers in Boston are trying to solve problems on several fronts. One thing that uh, we have been doing uh, is developing uh, better antibiotics. He also hopes within the next year or two, there will be a blood test available to determine if you get Lyme disease, if you will be among the 10% likely to develop long-term problems. Knowing that would help doctors immediately prescribe a more aggressive antibiotic treatment. The really tough problem is, of course, what to do with people who already have PTLDS, that, the chronic form. It's challenging to treat uh, because we do not understand the nature of this post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. We do not know whether the pathogen is there or not there. We don't even have a, a, an answer to that seemingly simple question. Is there hope for people that are suffering with this chronic form of Lyme disease? Yes, uh, definitely. In fact, Dr. Lewis says he and his team are testing a mixture of drugs that are already on the market to see if they would also work for treating the long-term effects of Lyme disease. Lyme came within my uh, sphere of interest because it seemed like another chronic disease, but unlike those, it is much more difficult to understand and to treat so, so that, you know, that's a challenge. I mean, we like to work on, on tough problems. The harder the problem, the more interesting it is. Uh, so that's good for the patients. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.